So here's the thing, I've done a number of videos showing how to solder plumbing pipes. But what I haven't shown yet is I haven't shown a video where I'm soldering electrical wires. And here's the thing, the process, well it's somewhat the same, but it is a little different. And I want to share that with you, coming up next. Hi everybody, I'm Leah of CJ Drill, and if this is your first time here, I just want to say welcome, and well, I hope you subscribe, okay? Now today's video has to do, in a roundabout way, with last week's video. We did uh, splicing and then we used heat shrink tubing to really bond the splice together. And what we did was we introduced the idea of electrical soldering, but we didn't show it. So today I'm gonna to show you how to solder electrical wire. So this is the wire we're gonna repair here, and it's secured between two clamps. Now this is our splice, that's called a lineman splice, and I showed how to do that last week. So this is the tool we're going to use. It's called a soldering iron, and they're inexpensive. You can get them for as little as $10, okay? And you plug it in and allow it to get the temperature. Next, we have our solder. Now, I don't know if the camera person is going to be able to come in close, but this is what's called rosin core solder. And this is very, very important. I'm going to spin it a little bit, and I want you to notice how it says fast acting flux. And what that means is that this is hollow. This solder is hollow and the core has rosin flux. So if you're going to do electrical soldering, just make certain that you use rosin core and not something that has an acid core, an acid flux. Because acid flux is really used for plumbing. Now our solder iron is up to temperature, so I gotta be, be very careful. But what I want to tell you is we gotta do something called tinning the tip. I'm gonna show you what that is. This is what happens, alright? Oxidation and heat really speeds up the oxidation process. And oxidation is an enemy to solder. That's what interferes with a good bond. And that's why we use flux. Flux really helps eliminate the oxidation. Now it's time for me to prepare my solder iron to use. It's dirty, so I gotta clean it. And I've gotta do something called tinning the tip. And that's just putting a light coat of solder on the tip of the soldering iron. And what that does is it helps with heat transference. And it makes the solder iron work so much better when it comes time to solder our wire. So what I've got here is a damp sponge. It's not sopping wet, but it is damp. It's going to help me clean off my solder iron. This right here, that's just some flux. I'm going to insert it into the flux like that. And I'm going to insert it again till I get this thing clean. I've cleaned it off a little bit, but I'm going to wipe it off here. Okay, so it's clean. Now I'm ready to tin it. This is tinning the tip. So there we go, We're ready to go. Now I'm gonna, there we go. Got one little bit more to do. Hold it up there, there we go. So I'm pretty satisfied, but I, I got a little bit there I've gotta get. Just like this, there we go, maybe I'll just, there we go. Perfect. So that was an introduction to soldering electrical wire. Now what I'll do is I'll place a link in the description below the video to the tools that I used in this video so you can check things out for yourself. This is Leah saying you can do this. See you next time.